welcome to pouches and more and today we will prepare the semicircular coin pouch it's got a swivel clasp to hold keys we have kept coins inside it's completely lined from inside we have used a contrast material for the tabs this is how it looks we can also keep the small lipsticks it's got enough space to keep coins lipsticks keys and it's simple to make so this is how it looks let's check out the materials required to make this semicircular coin pouch We require two pieces of main fabric fused with interfacing and two pieces of lining material and these measure 5 inches by 4 inches. A 4 and quarter inch long zip, one swivel clasp and we require two tabs for the zip and these measure 1 and half by 2 inches. We have folded them in half and then got the raw edges to the center and again folded them. We have done, done that for both. We have also done that for the swivel clasp tab. And this measures 2 inches by 2 inches. We have done the same thing that is folded it in half, got the raw edges to the center and again folded it. So these are all the materials required. So first we we'll got a circle. This has a diameter 5 inches. We are going to just fold this in half. So this becomes a semicircle. Now we are going to cut it into two. So this has got a 5 inch diameter and we are going to place this on the main fabric before that we are just going to fold it in half. This is to get the center of the semicircle. We are going to do this for the other, other piece also. So just fold it in half and this is our center mark. Now we are going to do the same on our main fabric. So we need a center mark on the main fabric also. So just fold it in half to get the center mark. So this is the center mark. We'll just place the paper on this main fabric like this. So we get the semicircle down. Now above this semicircle, we'll again be making a marking of one inch. So one inch extra above the semicircle will be taken. So the one inch extra above will be doing a marking. So this entire thing will be giving us the semicircular pattern for the coin pouch. Now we are going to trace the outer curved part of this semicircle. So we are just going to trace the pattern that we did, paper pattern, it's got the semicircle. And we are going to include the 1 inch marking. We are going to make a straight line over there. So this is the 1 inch above. So here we will be stitching the zip. So we need the extra part over here. So this is our pattern. We will do the same on the other side also. Including the 1 inch mark on top. So we have cut the main fabric according to the pattern. We will do the same for the lining fabric also. So our pattern are ready. Main fabric as well as lining fabric. Now we need to attach the zip. For that we will take the zip. We have taken a longer zip. So this is around 5 inches. We will leave. We will require a zip of around 4 and quarter inches. So I am going to make a marking of 4 and quarter inches. This is our 4 and quarter inches marking we'll just cut the extra of the zip before cutting the extra we'll attach the not exactly attaching we're just going to clip the zip tab to the other side so we can move the slider so we'll just attach the zip tab like this on the other side and clip it now we'll pull the slider inside and cut the extra zip 
so I've cut the zip and on the other side also that is the open end also we are just going to put the we want to insert this also into the zip tab and clip it so we need to make a stitch on the zip tab on both the sides also we are going to stitch the swivel clasp tab so both the sides we are going to stitch this So we have stitched the zip tab as well as the swivel clasp tab. Now we will insert this into the swivel clasp and clip it. We need to put this on the main fabric later on. So we are just going to keep it aside. Now as of now we are just going to take a main fabric one side. The right side will be facing up. We are going to take the zip slide aside facing down. And we will be leaving. We will just align it in the center. We will leave around a quarter inches and a little more on both the sides. Now we will put the lining fabric on the main fabric like this. So zipper is sandwiched in between and we are going to clip this also. So we need to make a straight stitch on this. Our stitch is done, we are just going to open it and hand press the main and lining fabric on one side together. We need to make a top stitch on this. Once that is done, we will do the same for the other side also. So the main fabric will be facing the main fabric and we are going to attach it to one side of the zip. We are going to align this also to the center, the zipper to the center. So both sides will be leaving a little more than quarter inches. And we are going to clip this. Now we are going to place the lining fabric also. So lining fabric will be facing the lining fabric. Align it together. We need to align it from the sides clip it and align it from the top and we will be making a straight stitch on this. Now once that is done again hand press both the main and lining fabric and make a top stitch. So our top stitch is done on both the sides. Now we will put the main fabrics together right sides together and clip it and put the lining fabric also right sides together and clip it. We need to make a stitch all around. So before we stitch the main fabric, we are just going to insert the swivel clasp along with the tab. So on one side, we are just going to close to the zip, we will place the swivel clasp tab like this. The raw edge will be aligning with the raw edge and the tab will, be, uh, sorry, the swivel clasp will be inside. So we are just going to put the right sides of the main fabric together and we need to stitch all around. Now on the lining fabric side, we are going to leave an opening. So this is the opening that we will be leaving for turning the whole pouch right side out. whole thing is stitched we have stitched all around now we'll just cut this extra part on the curved close to the stitch we'll just cut the extra fabric that is only on the curved part and then we'll turn the whole thing so from here we are going to turn the whole pouch the right side we have cut the extra fabric on the curved part so now we'll just turn the whole pouch so our pouch is turned to the right side. This is how it will be looking. Now we need to stitch the opening in the lining fabric. So we are just going to carefully align both the fabrics and clip them. We can either hand stitch this or machine stitch this since it will be going inside the pouch. So neatly align the whole lining fabrics both together. 
slip them and we need to stitch this so we need to make a stitch over here we have finished stitching this now we will neatly push the lining fabric inside the main fabric and this is how it will be so our pouch is ready and done this is how it will be looking it's simple to make so please to try this thanks for watching bye